Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you on how to create a multi-field search form in Microsoft Access. By the way, this is different from my previous video because now I'm using Datasheet View. And by the way, if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access, then please consider subscribing this channel. So now let's start. This is my product list. We're gonna use this one. Let's close this. Let us create a query. Okay. We can select this all. We need that one. Let's try. Okay. So this is the data that we want. And let us close and save. So let's put you your product list. And now Let's make a form. Search. Another text box is for dummy. Let's call this dummy search box. Okay. And let's create a clear button. And now, let's go to the query that we created. Let's drag and drop. And click finish. Let's choose the continuous form. But this is the format, then we have to change this guys.
let's try
Now let's start the coding guys. So let us click this one and then go to event and then on chains. So let us click this three dots and then code builder. So remember the name. This is dummy search box. So me dot dummy search box is equals to me dot this one guys search box okay that takes let us close so let's try like soon huh? okay so every time we input a letters or numbers in this um, text box this text box also have a value from the search box. So next, this one clear. So we have to erase the value. And also the dummy. And for this, um, the name of this subform is Q product list subform. That one. That query. Okay. And then let us go to the product list. The query that we have created. Let us design view. And then let us create a search terms. Shape F2 or zoom. So our search terms will be the item code. and the item description we can also include the status what else and also the rack or the location And also the price. Okay. That's it. And we'll rename this as and then our criteria will be the this one the dummy so let us create a criteria just click this one builder and then click database and then the form loaded form and then the form one and then let us find the dummy search box this one okay and we will type like okay and this one also okay that's it let's try it the save I will go back to the code of this on chains. I will add me that Q product list form that require. Okay. Let's try. Okay. 
let's find the ax du body spring ax du body okay so this is the result and if we delete this one or if we clear this one okay how about the price this one 83.68 83.68 okay if we clear so that's the result and then how about this so we're gonna hide this one no okay that's it guys i hope this video helps you a lot and if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about microsoft access once again please subscribe to this channel for more informative videos that's all thank you and see you to my next video